Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be solving this problem called RE find all and RE find iter. Uh, so let's go through this. Uh, so these are the methods we can use to find all the matches. Uh, both are doing same thing actually, but one returns an iterator and the other returns a list. So the expression RE dot find all returns all the non overlapping matches, non overlapping matches of patterns in the string as the list of strings so output will be the list of string uh, after matching uh, uh, the pattern in a string okay so it takes input as a string and um, uh, output a list of string okay so it matches a non overlapping ma matches okay so uh, here we will be doing uh, uh, overlapping matches you will see how so this is what re uh, dot find all does if you want to check out you can uh, follow the link so you can see an example import re re dot find all it is looking for words 0 to 9 a to z capital a to z and uh, underscore in this string wherever it is finding uh, the match it is uh, taking it and uh, storing it in list form you can see so all are the words you know uh, so this these guys are not this is not then this dot is not and uh, slash is not you you know that so all all this http www h a c k e r r a n k and you can see uh, these both the r's are there here okay so it's not like only one r so both of the r's are there a n k uh, and then c o m okay so words means capital a to z small a to z 0 to 9 and underscore so all those if it will have and there will be a match and it will store in a uh, give an output in list form similarly if you have find iter expression find iter returns an iterator yielding match object instances over all known overlapping matches for the re pattern in the string so whenever there is a match it will give a match object instance okay so here you can see if you will do same thing but here in, instead of using find all you are using find iter then you are having this iterator callable iterator object at 0x 0 to this is the kind of output you are getting here you are not getting this output so to to see the output you have to map uh, the, uh, map it and you have to see in the group form so then only you will have this list type so it has different different applications i have not seen any applications of uh, find iter till now i mean uh, if you if you need a, a group of something then then only it is used i think and um, uh, uh, as a group uh, if you have something so this is a whole group okay if you want inside a content then uh, you need to do extra stuff uh, else you don't need to here you will get in list form directly so that is the difference but both of them are doing the same thing exactly now what is our task uh, you are given a string s it can uh, consist of alphanumeric characters spaces and symbols plus and minus okay and uh, your task is to find all the substring of s containing two or more vowels two or more vowels also these substring must lie in between two consonant and should contains vowels only means two uh, two vowels or more in between two consonants that is what we have to figure out okay that is the pattern we have to search for now if we know that uh, a e i o u is uh, is uh, vowels so capital and small both are vowels here also the remaining alphabets will be consonants uh, the small and capital type will be getting in single in uh, input a uh, single string in uh, one line and the length has to be between 0 and 100 print the matched substring in the order of occurrence on separate lines if no match is found print minus 1 so you can see an example here this is a string given to you and you have to find a uh, between uh, two or more vowels between two consonants so you can see first is ee -E. you can see d e e f so d is a consonant f is a consonant and in between you have two vowels Similarly, you have here K, I, O, O, M. So here you can see K and M are consonants. I, O, 
O R vowels. So two or more. Then you have uh, O E O. So P O E O R. This is the another pattern. Okay. Then finally you have T five times E and then again T. Okay. So uh, that will give you uh, this thing. Okay. So T and T are consonants, and in between you are having two or more vowels. Okay. So you can see that uh, there is uh, no overlapping here. Okay. So you can use uh, find iter. So uh, first one was uh, here, then next one was here, next one was here, and then finally fourth one was here. Right. So here you can see E are located between consonant D and F. Uh, I O O is between K and M, then between P and R, and then between T and T. Okay, so let's uh, write. So it looks simple type. I mean, uh, you might be able to get the logic. I mean, what's the pattern I'll follow? So let's call it T again, and uh, this time R E dot find find all because I want them in list. Find all. Then we have to look for some pattern. Comma input. In one line only one input we will be getting here. So what will happen? Uh, we'll print T so that we'll see the matches. Uh, what is the list? So it will match all the all of it non overlapping types. So what do we have to search? Simple. I will do. First uh, we want some consonant, right? So I'll take these consonants. Uh, control C. Control V. Then we have to have same thing, but uh, small letter form. Small letters. Then we have to have uh, uh, this vowels. It could be repeating or it could not. Right. So and then small vowels, small letter characters. So same thing I took. But this we can be it can be two or more, right? Two or more. That is what it is written here. So two or more vowels. Then finally you will have the same thing again. Consonants. Control C, and then Control V. So what it is doing is uh, consonant. Then any number of uh, two or more. And this this line is giving two or more vowels. And then again consonant. This is the pattern we are looking for. So let's see what will I, it will do. So you can see we are getting D E E F K I O O M and uh, P O E R and T E E T. But uh, the output is uh, not in this form. It is matching the the consonant as well as uh, means consonant as well as vowels. We just want vowels to be shown, right? Vowels to be shown. So let me do it. Uh, so we'll run a for loop. So if we'll get true t, then we'll run a for loop for i in range uh, length. No, for i in range. Mm, mm, range length of. Let me take length of. Uh, T and I'll print I. So I have to leave a first uh, and last, no? So zero and minus one we have to print. So one two minus one. This will give first to last second. So for I if print this. Uh, else print false. Else print uh, minus one. No? Print minus one. So if I'll do that, uh, int object is not subscriptable. 
Oke, 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 oke. For I in D, it will be for I in D. Oke, okay. that is how to work. Now you can see D E E F K O I O M. This four, all of them are there, and I have printed E E then I O. Same exactly what we wanted, right? So I can remove this. I can run. You can see sample test case is passed, but we were not able to pass all the test cases. Now, what is the problem? How you will get to know? Uh, I mean, uh, this is not the suggested method. I will take to look at the logged uh, test case, but uh, you should be knowing you can do something like this. So you have hackos, five hackos. It will take. These are the points inside. You can see. Um, when you 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 are having your profile if you'll unlock it so it will cost something but you can see here uh, you have only done for non overlapping okay uh, if there is a overlapping in the string then how you gonna do it so see b a a a b will be the first guy uh, so two consonant v and b and in between you have vowels a a now the next one comes with this B A B, right? So there is a overlapping of this B among two, and your code is not like that. It looks for uh, cons consonant, then looks for uh, vowels, then again consonant, and then it starts with the next one. Okay, so if there is a match here, it will start from here. It will not start from here. Okay, so what's the what's the solution? I mean, how you gonna cure it? So the the one thing you can do is you can do something like in bracket for the last guy you do bracket question mark equal to that's it you have to do so what does this do R E So here you can see question mark equal to what it does is uh, you have already studied it. Mm, question mark equal to this is what you can see. So it will match the next guy. It will uh, if whatever is written in dot 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 side, whatever is written matches the next, but doesn't consume any of the string. This is the most important thing. So what it will do is it will. Look for this D E E F, but it will not co consume F. Output will be D E E only. Okay, so let me comment these guys. Uh, this is uh, Control uh, slash Control slash if you do. So it is forward slash. Okay, which is uh, next to Shift Control plus um, forward slash if you do. All of them will be commented. If I remove this. You will see the output. Okay, so D E E K I I O P O E O. So it is not consuming the right consonant, right one consonant. Okay, and it is showing the match only when uh, next is a consonant only. Okay, so the match is what match is this if next guy is consonant. That is what uh, we have done here. So the last guy. So we are able to skip that overlapping thing. Uh, it is a slightly uh, 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 intelligent way of uh, removing what the problem you are facing. Okay. So now we just want to have this e e right and then o o i o o. So what we'll do? Instead of printing till here, we'll print like this. Then again, you do control. Slash, it will come back, right? And you will get the the sample test case, and all the test cases will be passed now. Okay, so you can see a small change. Uh, this this I hope you are getting the meaning of this. It will produce the match. This if you will have a simov in the next uh, next uh, string. Okay, next character will be like this. Then only it will give output Isaac. So I, the role of Isaac is being played by D E E, and Asimov is played by F. Similarly, here it is 
played by K I I O I O O, and then M is played by uh, the next question mark. Okay, next question mark. I see move. So that is how you are making it, and find all will match all the all the pattern, and it will give you in a list form. So it is much more much more uh, comfortable. I think. I mean, you will get everything in one shot. So. this is what uh, find all is about uh, let's move on to next problem now